Okay, let's do some Apuleius here, the Golden Ass, the Metamorphosis, chapter 21, Axic. And so thus, well, it looks like we've got a ablative absolute, Agaratus the Stragulus, with the heaped up, um, looks like bed covers, the Stragulus, into a cumulum. A pile is when you accumulate things together. And he's a faultus, which means he's leaning on, leaning in his cubitum, leaning on his elbow. He is sub-erect. Erect means straight up. Sub-erect probably means he's like half leaning on his elbow in the torum, so he's on the couch. He porrigated. So he stretched out his dexterum, his right hand, and add instar. Instar's in declinable. It means just as, and it takes a genitive. And just as, here's the genitive, an orator, um, he conformats. So he shapes something. An articulum, it's a diminutive, so it's a little joint. It's probably his fingers, I think. Um, and the two duobus in femus, so the lowest two fingers are conclusive, they're closed up. So he's uh must be something that orators do, they use the fingers. Yeah, his digitus, so it's his fingers. And I think this is there's a variant here in the F document. So E minus is a Adverb from long distance, and so the keteros, these would be the rest of his fingers, are uh, porigens, they're stretched out, versus this porigen up here. And so the rest of his fingers are stretched out at a long range, and with an infesto polis, that's his thumb is looking hostile, uh, I think we see it translated as he's about to strike with his thumb, then he clemently, which is a contrast of something dangerous, so it's uh, softly... He subrigans, so he was half up before, half sub-erect, and so he's uh, stretching up even further, leaning on his elbow on his couch, and this is the person who's heaped up these covers into a pile, a thelipron, and he infits, which means he speaks. So we've got quotes here. Pupilus ego, so I was a child, I have profectus, which means setting out from, and this place here is in the ablative, so he set out from Miletus, ad spectaculum olympium, this ad looks like a purpose, to see the Olympic spectacle, or the Olympic Games, which are every four years, cum haec etiam loca, so when even these places, um, here he is, he's cuperim, he's desiring to go to, adire, this is a famigerabilis, so famai, it's the usual famous, or um, there's good re good reports about the place. Garabilis means it was carrying it. And Provincia means it's a province. So where the Olympic Games are in a fame-bearing province. And he desired to go there. Peregrata. Looks like he's a foreigner going through this. So through Cuncta Thessalonia, through all of Thessalonia, he was migrating. And looks like Fuscus avibus. These are dark birds, so they'd be... And the dark omens, I, I guess I, I arrived at or came to uh, Larissa. Okay, so he's gone from Miletus to Larissa. Akdum, and while, singular, he was per errandsing, so he was wandering thoroughly, or he was very much uh, wandering about. Ad modem, it's an adverb, usually means fully, or it's a bit like satis. So he's got a tenuatu of viatico, which means he had thin travelling money. So he, his money for travelling was wearing out uh, ad modem. He was getting very poor while he was perensing, wandering about. And I'm conquering. I'm looking for a fomenta. This is something to heal mea pauperitia. Looking for something that could heal my poverty. Give him money, I guess. And we have that verb followed by another verb. They both have con in it. Conspicio. So I saw, media foro, in the middle of the forum, a procorum quendam senem. So quendam is pronoun. It means a certain person. A procorum means a tall person. And a senem is probably the noun, which means an old man. So I saw a certain tall old man. In Sisterbat, so this old certain man who was tall was standing on a lapidum, which is a stone or a rock, and with a clara voce, which means a loud voice, or a loud clear voice you might want, he was 
predicamenting. So he's proclaiming this. We've got two imperfects here. Uh, C qui. If there's anyone who valets, who wants, taking the infinitive, to servare, protect or look over a mortum, a dead person. If he wanted to do this, liquorator, uh, de pretio, for a price. Uh, so does anyone want a job to watch over a dead person? Et, and, to a quem piem, to a s another certain person. This one here is a different thing. It's not really a pronoun. It's more of a different description. To praetorantium. So this is a present participle. So to so anyone who's passing by. Um, and so, in quem, I said... Uh, quad hoc comparia. What's this that I've found? Hikine. Uh, here, and it's got nay in it, so it's a question. Is here, solent, are they accustomed, mortui, the dead, to offugere, to run off? So, basically, I'm asking, in the first person, uh, the people around here who are dead, are they accustomed to run away? Which would be why this guy wants to servare the mortum. Tarke, bit of an imperative, shut up, Repl replied, responded, and he, Eli's he, so he said, be quiet. Nam for, opido pua. Now, this opido isn't anything to do with the town, this means very or just, it's a um, adjective, uh, adverb. So you're, you're just a boy, you're, or in fact, I want to say you're an extremely young person, and satis peregrinus is, and you're a foreigner. Satis, you're enough of a foreigner. You're, so you're very young and you're a foreigner also, you might want to say. And merito, and so deservedly, uh, ignore us, you're ignorant, uh, that te, you, have consistere, you have stopped or halted, Thessale, in Thessaly, uh, ubi, where, sega mulias, these are, you literally think it says wise women or something, but it's uh, more like these are where witches are, women who are witches maybe, and pass him everywhere, they de morsicant, they bite on the aura mortuorum, on the faces of dead people. And ear, and this, sunt illus for them, they supplement um, for their artist magica. So they bite off faces and they use this to supplement their magical arts or something. 22. Contra ego. So against this, I, in quam, I said, et qua tu, and what is it that you, so it means please, uh, dick's imperative, so speak. So what is this, please, that you want to speak, um, as a custodella of the ferialis? What does this uh, custody of dead people involve? Something like that. And Illy responded, it, and he responded, yeah, in primum, first of all, in the first place now, um, perpetual noctam, all through the night, eximi, you must especially be vigilandomess, you must be very vigilant, and exert, and in connivus means don't blink your eyes. Okay, so with, with strained eyes and unblinking eyes, uh, semper always in the cadaver, with the accusative, towards these cadaver, towards the dead body, intentus, you must be intent, neque your line, your line of sight, your a case, should you divertenda usquam. You should never divert your eyes ever. Uh, more precisely, imo ne obliquanda quidem. So ne quidem means not even obliqua, not even look sideways. So don't turn your eyes, don't even look sideways. Quippy, that's probably sense. When de terima versipel. So pels are skin and pelts. Versi means changing. So it uh, looks like these can change their pelts or their skin into quadvis animal, into whatever type of animal. Uh, the terima says they're very terrible or worst type of uh, skin changes. And latenta. So secretly they add repent. They creep up oro converso with their faces converted or changed. Ut, so that ipsos etiem oculus solis. So that even the eyes themselves of the solace of the sun and of justitia, which is justice, faculty easily, they can frustrate or they can deceive or um, frustrate by their trickery. 
Ma'am, for at at correlatives, both aves, birds, and rosum canes, and dogs again, and murays, which are mice, and vero imo, and again, more precisely, or to be, to be precise, at yam, even muskas, flies, they endure it. So endure it means they put on these bodies of birds, and then dogs again, and of mice, and then even flies. Tunk, then, diaris cantaminibus, with their dire incantations, or their harsh or hard spells, they obruant, they overwhelm or overrush the custodes, these are the guardians, in their somno, in the sleep. So the warning was, you must be vigilant and don't go to sleep, because there are, these witches are able to use spells to overwhelm the guards and put them to sleep, maybe, or and then they'll be in their sleep. So... Next, satis, neither satisfactorily is quiz quam. Can anyone, potrit able to define array? It's now following quantas, which is numbers. So this define array probably means to count uh, quantas, how much latabras. This is something that's hidden there. Secret arts. Anyway, we have nequisime mulias. These are the most worthless or disgusting type of women. Pro libertino sua. For their own lust, they commis, com, 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 I'd be terrible speaking this language to them. Uh, this is, uh, they come up with, um, they come up with all these types of trickeries, you might want to say. They commit this for their lusts. Uh, so it looks like lust is driving them to do these actions. So I set up a daily dictionary from Latabra, which we all know is a hiding place, retreat or a lair, but... This is the occasion where it's used for a subterfuge. They're using subterfuges, um, these witches. Top 20,000 words, Latabra, first declension. Okay, neck Tarman. So Tarman's nevertheless, who is Tam Exibilis? This is so de death-like or such a deadly. Tam means so, Exibilitus probably has something to do with deadly. Um... Who is of this to of this opera of this work? Neck. So not is the mercs, not is the payment amplior are uh, greater than quam is than than quaterne four vel or seni or six firme almost offerantad of gold. So in English, nevertheless, for such a deadly type of work, the payment is not more than four or six almost all around, amounts of gold p offered. Uh, so it's probably a gold coin, I'm guessing. Ahem, ahem, that's an interjection, so maybe it's just getting your attention. Ahem, and quad paini praetereram, what I've almost passed by, or left out, sequi, if there's someone or something, non integrum corpus, so... Mane means in the morning, restituera. So if it remains uh, not integrum, not whole, this corpus, this body in the morning. So if the body is not found whole in the morning, quid quid, whatever, in they then has been decurped them, plucked away, and uh, diminished, and what has been uh, plucked away and whatever is, is missing for it, uh, it omne, this all, de fakey sewer from your own face this de secto uh, will be cut away and it will be compelled to sakire patch it up so whatever's missing from the, the dead body which you were watching uh, whatever's missing you'll have to cut away from your own face you'll be forced to uh, to patch up the dead body 23a here's cognitus with these things known a blade of absolute I conmasculate I manned up I became very manly with my enimum in my with my courage and illico on the spot I akend akend I went forwards to the praeconem to the herald and I inquamed I said now de sign to clamare so now desist in your shouting Adest here is custode your guard paratus ready 
So I'm here, I'm going to be the guard. Cedo, give over the premium, this reward, which we saw was four or six gold coins usually. And Inquit, the uh, Preconum, the Herald says, Mille, a thousand numums, a thousand coins will be de deponented to be to you, will be placed with you. Said, but, here, hey, this is an interjection, uh, but hey, Juvenus, young man, carve imperative, beware diligently, um, principum civitatus fili cadaver. Okay, this is the cadaver, the bo dead body of the son of a double genitive of one of the principums or one of the leaders of the state or of this group of citizens. Um, custodias, you'll have to guard them probi, uprightly or in a good manner, from the marvelous harpies, from these bad harpies. <clears throat> Almost done. So, inquem, I said, ineptas. This means this looks like this is foolishness. Naras me here, you're telling me. Naras takes the dative. So you're talking foolishness to me and meras nugas. Looks like he, he deserved to be rubbish or something. So it looks like uh, you got nothing to worry about. He thinks this is all rubbish. Vides, you see... A hominem ferum, you see an iron man and an insomnium and an insomniac, he doesn't sleep. Curte, certainly, I'm more perspicuarum, this is a comparative, I'm more perspicuous, or I can see more clearly, than, we've got the comparative in the ablative, than ipso licenius, than licenius himself, vel or argo, and oculum totem, all of his body was eyes. Uh, argo, if you Google it, he's covered with eyes and that's it for the day.